Hello, I'm Everstall. Today I want to talk to you about penis function and its dysfunction. Now, typically with these videos, I just do one take, I just press a button and just talk. Um, this video is a little harder because there's a lot going on with penis function and its dysfunction with uh, the regrettable physical act when you can't get your dick hard. It's really traumatic and very stressful and causes a lot of issues with men and women and men and can make and break relationships and drive guys to insanity and murder. But it's, it's, all, it's all in your head. It's in your head and it's in your dick. So for this video, I'm doing a little, it's kind of choppy, so forgive me. It's gonna be a couple little moments where I talk about stuff. I'm gonna talk about health, um, pornography, and partners. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I'll probably be doing more videos where I talk about my penis and penis health. Um, cock dysmorphia, penis enhancement, exercises, and uh, sexual health. Pornography is great. It's wonderful. People who do porn are awesome. It's super, super good. But the one thing to keep in mind with pornography is it's not real. It's artificial. It's a fantasy. And what makes it so pleasurable is you're taking a magical journey to Pornoville. You're not in your physical body anymore. You're not sitting where you are. You're moving, you're taking a little like journey from here over here to Pornoville. Pornoville's great. It's a wonderful place to visit. Do it, enjoy it. But keep in mind, it's not real. Um, the actors, the situations, everything is completely orchestrated and edited and thought about and composed. It's a fantasy. If you watch a lot of porn and you're jerking off only to porn and you're only really able to ejaculate to pornography or you find yourself ejaculating more to pornography than human contact, what can happen, not always, but what can happen is you disassociate sexuality from the human body and you become more reliant on it as a uh, image on a screen, as a computer model, as a fantasy. You're receiving information from the porn computer device. It's coming in and at you. You're passive. It's entering you and you're leaving your mind and you're going to Pornoville. This is a different sexual experience to when you, the man with the penis, is coming up, coming out, and hunting, and conquering. You're Godzilla, you're Dickzilla, and you're destroying Tokyo. Dickzilla isn't happening when you're sitting back on your couch in potato mode and going to Pornoville. Watch less porn if your penis isn't working properly. Have sex with human beings. Fantasize, masturbate about your sexual partner. If you're scheduled to have sex with your partner on, let's say, Saturdays, build the whole masturbatory experience um, around the potential of Saturday. When you wake up with your morning heart on, touch it, and think about satisfying your partner on that given day. Make it a, a planning strategy. Use masturbation as a planning strategy for Nookie Night. As reference, build up fantasies, build up different scenarios. Make your own porn in your head and then play it out in reality instead of approaching another human being as a substitute for pornography. That's pornography. Are you fucking someone you don't like? Are you fucking somebody that you're not interested in? Are you having sex out of an obligation? Are you having sex to have children? Are you having sex because you're bored? Are you having sex because you're horny? Are you having sex because 
it's attached to your self-worth. Your penis is part of you. And it's also emotionally and spiritually part of you. If you're having problems with your erection, think about who you're having sex with and why it might not possibly be working out. Perhaps you're not into the person you have sex with. And you know what? Your dick's not gonna be into it either. Perhaps the sex isn't interesting. Your partner and you aren't sexually jiving. Try something else. Uh, tell a fantasy to your partner and see what happens. Ask them to do something. Explore a fetish that you think would be weird. Understand your mental state when you're having sex and what its role is for you in your life and its function and what the function of the sexual experience on that day is. And if that is causing you a problem, just don't have sex like that. If you don't like the person you're fucking, you can't get hard, just don't fuck him anymore. Don't call him. Say I'm sorry. You're cool. I like you. I think your hair is great. Um, but I'm just not really into you. And I'm not sexually attractive. You don't make me horny. It's hard to have sex with people that don't make you horny. It's totally okay to have sex with people you hate, though. That's cool. Hate fucks are great. Revenge fucks, that's cool. Put some intention into it. Put some gusto into it. Put some feeling into it. Put your soul into it. Fuck with soul and power. Get it. Do you have a misunderstanding of your penis's potential? His physical reality? I bet you do. Do you not like your dick? Do you feel ashamed of your dick? Are you embarrassed of your dick? Does your dick frustrate you? Do you wish you had a different dick? I bet you do. All guys do. Even the guys with the biggest, strongest, most amazing dicks. There's something wrong with it for them. And if you have the biggest, strongest, most amazing dick and you have no problems with your dick, could you call me? I'd like to meet you a lot. Guys with big dicks, sometimes they can't get hard. Guys with little dicks, they're hard, they can fuck like amazing, they can hit it, but their dicks are just not the cultural um, fantasy norm. Guys with uh, really fat dicks, they look short because they're really fat. Not everybody can take them. Um, guys with really skinny dicks, they're skinny. Every dick's wonderful and beautiful and amazing. There's a, a dick shaming and a dick morph, dysmorphia a dick dysmorphia that gets stuck in our heads as men where um, we don't really see our penis for what it is physically and we don't really understand how it functions in a sexual act with another person. You're never gonna know how your penis is actually performing because you're not that other person and every orifice is different from every penis. Some are deeper, some are shallower, some are really fat and juicy, some are a little bit drier. And each sexual experience is gonna be different because the penis is gonna be reacting different and the orifice will be reacting different. Even if it's the same hole that you're fucking all the time, that's gonna be different every single time. Just the way your penis is different every single morning. Sometimes we're a little bit longer, sometimes we're a little harder, sometimes we're a little fatter, sometimes we're a little this. It changes by the minutia all the time. You have to have a, um, a healthy outlook and really a clear understanding of what you can do and what your potential is. And forgive yourself for not having the fantasy penis you wish you had. It's a fantasy. It's not a real penis. Your dick is perfect just the way you are perfect. And the way you fuck is just fucking awesome. It's good, it's really great. You can do it, you can fuck and you can be amazing, you can have orgasms and you can give orgasms with the penis you have. Cause that's what that penis does. It's an orgasm maker. A penis orgasm maker. All men have it. Drugs are great. Booze is great. 
But uh, stamp light's great too. Uh, but they're not always great for your dick and for your health. Uh, if you do a lot of cocaine, you drink a lot, do a lot of poppers, do a lot of meth, do a lot of G, do a lot of crack, smoke a lot of weed, all those things, they're in your body. You can't really expect um, to be a powerhouse fuck machine if you're cracked out, tired, dehydrated, hungover. If it's Saturday night and Friday night, you're out with the bros and hanging out, doing a bunch of cocaine and heroin, and hanging out with hookers till all hours in the morning, partying, drinking, waking up with whiskey on your breath and crack whores all over you. Saturday, your dick's probably not gonna be super like excited. It's probably gonna be tired, worn out, hung over, drugged out. Don't expect your dick to be super fuck machine if you're all fucked up on drugs. It's not gonna happen. Take a break, relax. Day before you have sex, try fasting. Try not drinking. Try drinking a lot of water. Drink tea, relax. Take a little vacation before your sexual adventures. Take it down a notch, meditate. Don't be so hyped up. Don't expect so much out of the sexual experience. Don't expect each sexual experience to be the most amazing, most wonderful. Take it for what it is, an intimate moment with another human being and enjoy it for what it is, you and them. Penis and a hole. Stick it in. Yeah, just stick it in, it's great. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoy it and share them. They're made with the best intentions to amuse, delight, and educate. Thank you so much.